Sharp Cut Barbers. You can go visit them at Nine Branch of Square. When you hit them up, go hit up Steve. Tell him that Nara sent you. Big up yourself, Steve. Big up yourself, Bobby. Big up yourself, Trey. This episode is also brought to you by Beauty Fetish by Tanisha. Ladies. Yeah. yeah. This is where it was, like, I, <laughs> I was teeing up not to say, yeah, like, this is where the tech is in the rain. Yes, yeah, shop number 32 Kings Plaza. That's 38 Constant Spring Road. So shout out to Tanisha. She does a great job. Yeah. Is it having a well laid? Yes. yes. The terms. I'm getting the terms right? Yeah, yeah. All right. Christ. This episode is also about you by Avery's Beauty Contents. All right. Located at 111B Mulan Joe Kingston 20. Fam, you cannot DJ, fam. Yo. <laughs> you can't DJ. Welcome back, people. The Fix Podcast. It's boy now here with Ari. As you can hear, I'm a bit not As over you mentioned the before, yeah. As I mentioned before, I'm not over the weather. But we're there, people. Mm. Mr. No Days Off. We're there. Mm-hmm. To somebody, this sounds sexy, I'm sure. <laughs> but yeah, though, people, it's special guests. Kim Nain in the building, people. Stop, stop laugh after me. Right. It sounds sexy to somebody. Maybe right, to Kim Nain, maybe. Right, right. No, Kim Nain, no. Ah! <laughs> like I said, you could you could honestly narrate a movie. Really? Yeah. You're giving her Morgan Freeman vibes. So Morgan vibes. Freeman vibes. A Batman from Lego movie. Okay, maybe yeah, we could Batman go Batman. Better. That's much yeah. better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Less, a little less, less creepy. Dark, less dark true. night, you know? Yeah. Less yeah. illegal. Yeah. <laughs> Kim Wagon. There a long time. Not so no, no right? Yeah, like so I hope. When was the last one? Twenty fifteen or twenty sixteen? No, right. That's We're on the radio. Kim Nam nice though. She she other than we um I think she next benefited from what happened with that whole spice debacle. Her song received a whole lot of attention. Oh yeah? And, yeah. Mad. I remember by Instagram like when it posted and like it was the only Oh thing yeah, yeah. Time. Oh yo, I didn't even I, remember. Like, people that did that with power. <laughs> People that wait for what they have to post, yeah. but like, that was the only I'm thing like, was up on the I'm time. like, shoot, I guess I got some promo <laughs> yeah. from this. So yeah, it's a nice oh, promo. Let's even remember that. <laughs> yeah, people that say, I'm going to get the dirty book, but that song is so nice. <laughs> Yo, I didn't even that remember song that. That song is so nice. I saw oh, those comments. on Instagram. Yeah, oh, yeah. when you made a post yes, on Instagram yes. and, up, and then the whole spice thing happened, yeah. everybody started yeah, coming. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was like, well, hey, everybody. That's my song. <laughs> that was a time. So, Anyways. Yeah. But yes. It's it, cool, Kim. No let, need to yeah. thank us. It's all right. <laughs> Let's okay. just celebrate Thanks, the album. Guys. <laughs> Deal, with Deal with it. it. Yeah. yeah. At least since that time. Yes. Yeah, so, uh, the question though, um, Deal with it, 11 mm-hmm. songs. Is it, it was it an album or an EP it or was an album? An album. Mm-hmm. So why why you think you put why you wanted to put out an album at this stage? Because for people who know me in the industry, mm-hmm. they know me. I've been in the industry for a while, mm-hmm. and I was in school most of the time. For those people who wondering, well, yeah, normal law. Yeah, I was no. in school. Man, yeah. I know my Malay, right? No, yeah. I went to UTech. I did UTech. Law. Oh yeah, because yeah, she's a lawyer. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> and um, I never had the time, but then since I graduated, I decided I'm gonna put my full focus on it because life too short. Mm. And, then, <laughs> and then um, mm-hmm. I re. I always say rebooted or rebranded or just redeveloped myself. Mm-hmm. Um, I did a lot, you know, a lot of more, a lot of more music, a lot of new music mm-hmm. with a uh, more developed sound. Mm-hmm. And I just had all this music piled up and, you know, we're saying, okay, we have all of that music here. I think it's about time you put something out. Mm-hmm. But then we're, we were thinking about doing an EP. Mm-hmm. We're not telling a lie. We're thinking about it. Yeah. But it was like, Kim, you have enough, you have enough song right now for two albums. Wow. Well, unreleased. Mm-hmm. I have. I can do. I can actually release another album right now if I wanted to. Wow. So, I said. We said. All right. Just put out the album. Okay. So. Uh, but for uh, an artist like yourself, you think it makes sense to put on a, a, an album because the, some people said they don't really get for no years yet. Mm-hmm. For, but that's the point. Not just an album from. Um, it. Uh, an album is a compilation of me. Everything True. that comprises of me. I'm trying to introduce myself to the public because the public not really know people in the industry may know me but mm-hmm. the public don't know me so i'm not gonna act like uh, hey i'm everybody should know me mm-hmm. uh, that's not the case people don't know me yet i'm trying to introduce myself to them 
instead of putting out an EP, I decided to put out a little bit more and comprise it with the different elements of me, the different spices of me, mm-hmm. because my sound is, I don't want to say different. It, it is different because it's, it's uniquely mm-hmm. me. But then at the same time, um, I'm trying to do something a little bit different because I do fusion music, but yeah. it's still reggae. Reggae yeah. is still me. Definitely baby. here. The yeah, fusion. the reggae is still there. That's mm-hmm. the bedrock, bed, bed backbone, everything is reggae. Mm-hmm. But I do a little different thing to it. So um, when you listen to that album, the very first song there is, is like, a, everybody's like, nobody ever did expect the first song, like the Hold On Me song. Yeah. And then I dropped the Marijuana right up, which is, a, you know, a reggae one drop where everybody mm-hmm. used to. So I just did something where I could give a little bit of something for everybody. So if one person will like this one, and will somebody else will. Yeah. So it's kind of like that. It okay. was targeting, yes, the European market too, mm-hmm. but also to target the different elements out there and see which one catch. Yeah, well, we must say that I, we enjoyed the album. It was a, it was a really good, uh, like, you did say, is your first? My is first, first yeah, album. My very, first album. It's first a good compilation, every first. Yeah, first, first project. It first was a very project. good project. And you had really good collaborations because Agent Sasko, mm-hmm. uh, Bugle was on it. Uh, Devin the Doctor, of course, that's your label mate. Mm-hmm. Well, is your label mate? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah, he's mm-hmm. under the same management same roster. Management, yeah. Right, and Versi. So you had a really good compilation. What was it like working with Sasko, though? Like, it was cool. Yeah. Um, I don't know what to say. I did a song, um, a lot of the songs that I, I, I did them before, mm-hmm. and then I just kind of, we kind of listened to it, and I was like, hmm, I think Sass could be great for this Oh, because I was asking, like, that. like, it was a situation where you knew you wanted him to be um, on it? No, because, yo, the thing is, when you're making music, you're not really thinking about who's going to be great for this before you make the song. You make mm-hmm. the song first, and then I feel like, I feel like I want a, a male vocal on this. Okay. Like, for instance, the Bugle one. Mm-hmm. When I made that, I wasn't thinking about doing a collaboration with anybody. I was just doing a song. I did that. I actually recorded the song with Bugle. I mm-hmm. did that one in my in my bedroom. Okay. Recorded it in my bedroom. And then the actual recording was done in my bedroom. Oh. By the way, not like just a good demo. So somebody sent you the, the, you no, the man, producer? No, my producer, producer, producer sent me the rhythm. And the song with Bugle. Yeah, the one with Bugle. And Love you was, my way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and I was... We pull up Pro Tools, record it in the bedroom. Yeah, big cancel. You did not think about him in the bedroom when you saw it. No. Even when you like wife, you and you still have to be a little weirdo, right? <laughs> Yo. <laughs> anyway. So. You could have spent like that if you want. I'm just saying. Well, if, well I mean, I guess you could. Sad. If he wants to. But then, mm-hmm. it was later on the line. I was listening, listening over and listening over. And I say, oh, Bugle's voice on this mm. would be sick. Yeah, mm-hmm. and wait, the the title track "Be with It." You mm-hmm. you worked with well, you collaborated with Destiny Spartan. Mm-hmm. And now we're saying that that was the right choice. Yeah, uh, with that her. was actually that was actually Shelly's idea. Mm-hmm. Shelly's idea was yeah. to bring on Destiny. Yeah, she said Destiny not a bad for it. Yeah, and she really mm-hmm. really she added really... some grit to it. Yeah, because yeah. I wanted I wanted that song. First of all, it's not even really the title song. It just so happens that. The song, the title for that song also worked for the album, for what we wanted it to be. Okay. So it's not mm-hmm. actually the long story. <laughs> Can't bother going at one. Wait, so you had a different title name for the album and then D would it just work? It was kind of like where I was going through trying to figure out a name for the album and because it was like a coming, it was like a coming out basically. Okay. Uh, and you know, I've been in the industry so long. I'm a type with all of the music here. I'm the one to put it out. I want people to see, know, know who I am. This is my passion. Mm-hmm. Nothing's going to hold me back now, mm-hmm. which is why I was tied up in the. Yeah, this, the thing. Yeah. So I'm like, yo, deal with it. Okay. That was kind of how it happened. It wasn't okay. really because of the song. Okay. But yeah, the song with Destiny. Is, mm-hmm. Yeah, the song with Destiny now is like, it's you know usually men the men put out music for say how oh, them rough up the woman in the bedroom and re. Women can do that too. So psh, you know, so, you know, some of the men them can't even like hold it down with like them chat can hold it down. So yeah. that was what the song was about. Okay. And I was bringing the sweet this side. Is like, experience or you just, talk? just relax, man. You just a try <laughs> talk. I can I don't need to write from experience in us narrow. Uh, but today I chat the man them now, so they, they need to know if you got can't chat them anytime. Don't worry, who need for no one no? So <laughs> no worry about the fun. <laughs> Tell about woman, you know. <laughs> I like share talk. Exactly. Well, me can't really speak for myself, man. I can't speak for nobody else. <laughs> yeah, so you said that you, you wanted that I element wanted the, to it. I wanted that element because I, I was like the the sweet, not so not so um, raw yeah. one. But I'm pointing it out to you. I can do my things still. Yeah. And then, you know, Destiny bust out like, Ray. Yeah. You know? Yeah, because it's one of the things because 
I mean, as you say, you have this sweet, mm-hmm. innocent persona. Is you you want to be portrayed like that? Like where you're I'm half and half. Okay. I'm not. I'm never. I'm not gonna pretend to be this sweet, innocent little church man. I mean that. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, I'm not raw. I'm not completely out there either. Mm-hmm. I'm like in the middle. I'm a little bit of, you know. Um, you do an interview. Um, where you said I'm that. Don't know, I mean, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you do an interview where you said that. It seems like for artists to bus. Um, with the Jamaican audience, is that they must bus overseas first. I don't lie. Explain. It's that. only in certain circumstances if the money enough, mm. or if the or if the controversy controversial enough. Mm. If we're being honest here, mm-hmm. we, we are female. known for honesty. They <laughs> say you don't want to be forced to go overseas. Um, I don't want to be forced, but if it happens, it happens. I'm not gonna mm. like say, oh, I'm not gonna do that because I wanna. No, I'm, I mean, music is universal. If it busts overseas, it busts overseas. You find that that's um, specific to the type of music that you do. Um, or international for international yeah for, for people to uh, gravitate to your music i don't want to say i don't want to say first, i don't want to say me because it. me do me do reggae too mm-hmm. and me mm-hmm. do a little bit of everything so i can't say me specifically but if you were to look at say even a dancer dancer as opposed to reggae yeah can you have to separate the two in jamaica it's not, it's not it's not grammy's this dancer and reggae are two different you're things, right let's be honest yeah. there. Mm-hmm. um the dancehall market now is like you either have to have the controversy or you have to have the money to push it. Mm. Let's be honest here. Mm-hmm. Mm. You, you know, things the sex too is a part yeah, of it. Yeah, I mean, oh, it's sex part under of the it. Controversy, controversy okay. sex, mm-hmm. the story, the, the, the social media, it, the, 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 con- the story. Yeah. You have to sell something. And that's one of the things that's why I ask you because when you're already you're artist, you don't really have, you're not trying to sell controversy, you're mm-hmm. trying to sell music. Mm-hmm. We're being honest here. Mm-hmm. And even in, even as a regular artist, I know that with even females, you either gonna have to have a good team, or and money, mm-hmm. or a good team and or money. Mm-hmm. I don't want to say both, just both, because <laughs> yeah. you know it doesn't always happen that way. Mm-hmm. It just so is. you don't think talent is a part of it. I wish I could say that, but this is the real world we're living in. I know a lot of talented I said musicians. That artist, I, said this. I am a talent. I, no, I, say, I am a, people say I'm a talented yeah. musician. Yeah. yeah. And but I know other talented musicians right now who are still struggling to get uh, get listened or heard. Mm. Like Menaga pretend is well, real is real life well. Let's enough. not kid ourselves. Um you could you could be talented all you want, but if you don't have that eight factor you're just not gonna make it. There is also that's, that. That's also because that. Because there's, there's also that. I'm not gonna mm-hmm. lie. You have to have so, yeah. so yeah. you're saying that um controversy and the sex and whatnot yeah. but mm-hmm. as you you said that your album too is only one f bomb you drop yeah you know and it's very because PG-13, you have to think about very you have to think about you in a, the clean. universal uh, not the universal i have to think about the rest of the world the market is bigger than jamaica but look at hip-hop hip-hop is really one of the, the biggest yeah but if you want to play on the radio G. if you want to play on the radio you have to have you have to have something that is radio friendly boda killer was not radio friendly Who? and boda killer yeah but it depends on your marketing what you're trying to push and mm. if you're you, it, it has a lot you know there's Everybody's circumstance is not the same. Mm. And everybody's marketing plan it will not be the same. Mm. So you can't expect this, me to do the same thing what our next artist do. Mm-hmm. You understand? So it, it depends on what you specifically doing. Mm-hmm. Let's see if you have a sexy body. Talent. I like, can follow you on the gram. I follow my back thanks for that. <laughs> I know that sounds oh. creepy right now. Especially on your soul, oh, so fam. But, um, yeah, I know, with that <laughs> voice, right? I'm like, um, I'm like mm, yeah, tell ever, me what I want to hear. Do you ever feel pressure to like, show it off or to flaunt it to get attention to other music? Um, I know that's a thing with, with female it is a artists. Thing. So, you know what? You know what I hate about music today? Mm. Social media. Yeah, I said it, social media. I, oh, it's like it's, it's a love, you. it's a love and a hate. I'm kind of with you, isn't it? Wow. Because back then, people kind of didn't more pay attention to the music, and your music was whatever. Mm. Show it up on Facebook, mm. everybody sees it. No, because because social media has become so monetized. Yeah. Yeah, fair. If your followers them not up here, so if you not get this amount of likes, you're just not getting views. Your mm. music not getting out there, and we're not telling that. That's a struggle for me too, as a mm. up, you know upcoming artist. Yeah, it's like for you to get your music heard, 
you have to be an influencer. What? Mm. Me never did. Me never sign up for be influencer. <laughs> for be Instagram influencer. Me sign up for I get what you're saying. One of my friends said to me the other day, and it's so true. She was saying, "Yo, back it, back then, it used to be cool. You used to be cool to, mm-hmm. to be like unknown. Like they know about you, them see you, but they've yeah. not known much about you. Back then, it used to be a cool thing. The mystery of the unknown. The mystery of the unknown. Mm-hmm. No." If them don't know, so, yeah, eat at a place yeah, at this time, and this gym is the gym that you go to, and this is what my outfit looks like when I go to bed, then I, mean, I it, hate it, it. It works to some degree for some. For some. For some. For some. But for others, it's like if them don't feel a connection to you through social media, mm-hmm. it's like... Like they're not interested. Yeah, they're not interested. Mm. And I think, I think, so how you, how I you think navigate I'm pretty, through. I think I'm pretty interesting. I just don't like to post <laughs> everything. <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> but it, it's a part of Not the package. Really as an it's part of the package. Sorry, I just, yeah. I just saw it go. But no, but it's just, yeah. it's, it's adapting to today's. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because so I am trying to, I'm, not telling you, I'm trying mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. fall in line with the today's. Tradition, uh, tradition, I want to call it now. My trend. Call it tra- tra- yeah. trend. trend. Yeah. I'm trying to fall into the trend now. Yeah. But it's not what I was used to. Mm. So I, it's weird for me. Meaning, but, like, when you in the era that you grew up in with music, just knowing the, the era that I grew up in, and then the why, when, I, when I did just start music, I was young when mm-hmm. I just started music. And when I, them time there, mm-hmm. the, but it never, the band never did really pay attention to social media mm-hmm. when it comes to music. Definitely. Yeah. That's true. If if it was on social media, it's music video that I'm watching. Because I was saying <clears throat> it, like people like Nipsey Hussle and back in the day with mm-hmm. Tupac. Like people, people more connect with Tupac based on the, his interviews and the things that he was saying and mm-hmm. the things that he fought for yeah. outside of the music. Outside and then music. the music was just an added element. Yeah. And I think it's his personality that made him one, of, mm-hmm. I think was an added component to him being one of the greatest rappers. Mm-hmm. You know, so I think that it, it it's it's great where artists can showcase that, showcase that side their, the, the whatever, work their, whatever the advocacy mm-hmm. or their personality them humor just show but a different side now. of it i like twitter twitter my favorite one mm-hmm. if, I, if there's any social media I'm, i would keep it would be twitter mm-hmm. i love it mm-hmm. it's a fine uh, instagram I, I narcissistic. The most. It's true. okay mm-hmm. twitter you, you, Anna, you, you more get to me you get a better idea of how people think and mm-hmm. who the person is on twitter mm-hmm. and instagram is just hi buy this tea Da, da, da. That's true. Oh, my body is so nice. Look That's at true. me. I hate it. That's true. It I'm in one post for me every minute. Yeah. When I go to studio, I'm not all dolled up. I don't want to go in front of the camera. So your Twitter, yeah. then, like, well, your Twitter. Twitter, my Twitter up what, what are some of your tweets? Like, what, what? I talk about everything from music, from my music to music in general, mm-hmm. to what's happening in the world. Um... Game of Thrones. <laughs> Can we have Game of Thrones? No. Game of Thrones. No. <laughs> All right, I won't. I won't. Nah, yeah, I won't. won't. <laughs> Talk about everything. I won't. So you, that's where you showcase your personality yeah, and your I, I humor. I prefer that more. Yeah. Like I said, is, you see the, per- you see the, the personalities come out there. Right. Yeah, and I think during those times that we talk about that, the, the personality would come across in the music when it came out to certain artists. But I think nowadays things are so muddy that people don't really know what's real anymore. I don't know who's putting on a front. And exactly. Who's just That's something I like. Instagram is fake like what? Yes. Yeah, Instagram like is fake bad man. You like, can't really get a good read of the artist anymore, like from them songs. Like you don't really know. But I think that's something that people um, really coveted back in the day that, that they could get a feel of the personality of the artist from mm-hmm. their songs. Mm. I don't really think artists in these times will have that. Mm-mm. Going luxury. for them right now, yeah. I think mm. that luxury. Okay, sure. And it's sad. It but is. Yeah. All right. So, what's next for you, though? Um, are you planning to promote any singles from? Yes. Any more singles from the album? Yes. Itself? The one marijuana. Marijuana, you that push? Yeah. And, so that and for people who don't know who sing it, is me sing the song. It's not no. Other. You know, much people. You know, much people on the road. Me say I sing the song. I think of some other artist. Oh my! Yeah. Who you get? Who? Which other people them say? Which other artists? Me hear Lila, me hear um, me hear wow. coffee, wow. yes, and I no, just them. I mean, 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 I
fight. Burn up. <laughs> Shall burn fight. up road right now. I would fight. I would Shall fight. Shall go hard. I would fight. Somebody, yeah, I take myself. <laughs> <laughs> I would fight. I would fight. Shall <laughs> burn up road. Yeah, well, <laughs> well, well, so well so we agree with that, but I mean, I'm going to take your song and you Yeah, it's, it, I mean, it's because they don't, they don't know me yet. So mm. that's why. I mean, we can't really. What am I going to do? Fight? Mm. Who am I going to fight? Big up yourself though, Kim. Thanks Big up for yourself too. I'm thanks sorry for having me. I'm sorry during this interview. It wasn't... Okay. Yeah, that's right. Very sexy voice today. Yeah. Need some garlic and Thank ginger you. and honey. I knew somebody found it sexy. Somebody, not me, but somebody right. out there. All right, Kim, thanks. <laughs> All right, you know, You're so rough. Right. You're so rough now. Real rough. <laughs> Give thanks again. Yeah, man.